So there's no other economy. And supermodels, talent, and producers have to be hooked up because when they're a Christian, they have nothing to do with who they're with. And it could be a spouse, a sibling, a parent, a grandparent, or anyone. And they have to put God first and have nothing to do with them if they continue to sin against them. It's a direct deposit giving without expecting anything in return from the top percentage with stable jobs underneath them for a pyramid to flip the pyramid as it happened, recruiting accomplices. They looked like they have a small business, but it makes the other ones homeless to exploit them online because they don't have a prostitution business. And it's actually referral based through pornographers at hotel rooms naked one-on-one -on -one to be human trafficked and recruit them to be human trafficked everywhere at hotels in the desert to be thrown off planes, helicopters, everything. You're only protected if you're a Christian, which means it's an idol in your life that would destroy you to sin. You have to repent from any sin and the top percentage will be hooked up by everyone. So when they storm in with the model's apartments and they steal their stuff as party promoters with managers who are human trafficking them, they run away and some of them have been hiding since the year 2000. So it's just true that they're a good Samaritan when they're a policeman and they get all their reels and resume with a personal website online as the real supermodels, talent and producers from 2000 to 2007 before they were replaced by satanic worship human trafficking out of every city in suburbia. No one knows God's plan for someone else's life, but you'd have to pray to have no ego or idol and be renewed in your mind and body from anything of the flesh, anything of this world, and be used by God to have faith and ask for the gift of faith to obey God's commands. This means not expecting anyone's time, knowing they're worshiping God with everything they think, say, and do, and not denying them justice.